Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. We're gonna get straight into it with this video. We're off to the gym, we're gonna go train arms. Um, so yeah, I'll see you there. shoulders and then Saturday will probably be legs so I guess I'll see you tomorrow. So for this part of the video what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain all the different supplements that there is out there, well not all of them but um, a lot of supplements that, a lot of popular supplements that are out there. Um, and why they're used and what they do for the body. So, okay, so next up we have got creatine. Creatine, I don't tell myself, um, it basically adds strength to your muscles. That is basically the one of the only things it does really add strength to your muscles. If you could do 80, 80 kilo bench press for five reps, if you take creatine, after a bit you'll be able to do seven reps and it will give you a bigger push and it will help you get stronger basically but if you stop taking creatine that rep range will start to decrease so if you want to take creatine you've got to make sure that you're going to stay consistent with it now we have got pre-workout and um, again i don't take pre-workout myself it's one that i've never thought that i need and i didn't really I don't know, I, just, I don't really take the workout myself. Basically just sort of gives you a pump and gives you a rush for the gym. Prevent you sort of, sort of fatiguing on the set because you've got a lot of energy and it just gives you a big energy boost. So yeah, it's, it's a good idea if you, if you want to get a bit of an energy boost for the gym and you're feeling really, really tired. But personally, I don't take them myself. So next up we've got protein powder. This is the main one. You can have loads of different protein powders. You can have whey protein powders, soy protein, egg white protein, um, that's what I take, I take egg white protein powder because I think personally it's the healthiest option out there um, and it still contains a lot of BCAAs, the same amount of protein as a lot of whey but it doesn't have artificial sweeteners in and as well it is fast absorbing so 
is really good to have pulse workout because as soon as you finish work your muscles are in need of protein so you need to get it as fast as you can so protein powder is the way to go for. and finally we have got casein this is the one to have before bed or in between meals to keep that constant supply of protein because it is slow digesting so some can even last up to eight hours with before it's all absorbed so say if you've got let's say you've got 25 grams of protein in one shake every one hour five grams of protein will be absorbed think of, think of it like that so it'll take five hours to all of it to get absorbed and then after that five hours you're gonna have your next meal or something like that so it just keeps a constant supply of protein and amino acids and glutamine in your system until you eat again that's why it's good before bed because as well it'll prevent your body going catabolic overnight as soon as you wake up you've not you've not starved off of protein you've not had no protein overnight because you've had a constant supply while you've been sleeping so I would recommend casein I don't take it myself yet um, I might in the future but I don't take it anyway that is the end of today's video um, I hope you enjoyed it a new video will be here as soon as possible so please like the video smash the subscribe button and I'll see you next time